So how much do you need to spend in Cancun? That's a loaded question. And the short answer is, it depends. Depends on what type of holiday you're looking for, your personality type, your interests, motivations, all of that. So in this video, rather than telling you how much you should spend when holidaying in Cancun, I'm gonna do one better and show you how much I spent. And then that way you'll be able to use this video as a great template and determine how much you need to spend. Let's get into it. Now I'm not including the price that it costs me to stay at this all-inclusive five-star resort. I did spend £1,854.62 in case you're wondering and that was for seven nights all-inclusive. So while at the beach we did find a local who was uh, selling us coconuts. There was no set price for the coconuts, we literally gave him what we felt was reasonable. So we didn't go too heavy with regards to the nightlife, just weren't really up for it. We did go to Coco Bongo and spend $86 on the general access. We then upgraded to VIP after being told it was more worthwhile. Came with a bottle, a bottle of tequila, strawberry tequila, which was extremely sweet. So we're on the local bus, we're the locals, and we're on our way to La Isla Pla Plaza, which is supposed to be the best mall in Cancun. That was a very short, that was a very short bus ride. I think it took what? Not even three minutes? Not even three minutes. Yeah. We just found out that they, they don't actually, no, they do have bus stops here. Because I have seen the bus stop, no, they do, they do. but the bus driver can drop you literally anywhere. <laughs> you can literally drop off anywhere. So we, we went past where we were supposed to go past. So we have to walk back down again. So what I didn't know until we arrived here was that La Isla Plaza Mall is definitely, I wouldn't say it's a tourist trap, but it's definitely not the place that most of the locals will go to. The prices are extortionate. You find all the sort of uh, stores you'd find all around the world. Just not a sensible place if you're looking for a bargain. So I got two scoops with a cone and that came up as uh, 200 Mexican pesos. <laughs> it's a lot. So we are in downtown Cancun, outside Plaza 28. We're headed to Mercado 28. Oh, there's a lot of um, local stores on that side. So Mercado 28 is a flea market. Loads of things you can find there. In the end, I just got two beers, key rings, snacks, and a dress for the missus. I'm seeing a lot of t-shirts. Yeah. Oh, I don't really want a t-shirt. Yes. So the Hot Stones massage was probably the highest ticket item but it was worth it. Quick shout out to Mextreme. This was by far the best restaurant I ate at in Mexico and definitely budget friendly. The portions are crazy. Nachos, burrito, a cocktail, all for 754. Mexican pesos. So here we're just outside uh, Hooker Lounge. People watching. It was a lot of entertainment. Didn't spend any money on any drinks. Just shisha. 
Ah, Isle of Mujeres. This was by far my favorite excursion in Cancun, from the catamaran tour itself to the pit stop where we went uh, snorkeling and saw a lot of beautiful, beautiful aquatic life and statues, to the drinks, to the people, to the vibes, to the actual island itself. Definitely worth $98 that I spent. And not to forget the tax that we had to pay on top of that. Otherwise, you're not getting on board the ship. Just did the, uh, the snorkeling. The goggles that I was using <laughs> didn't really work. And salt water was getting in my mouth. And then I ended up losing the damn mouthpiece. But yeah, all in all, it was good. Blue Lagoon. Gracias. So we're out here just having our buffet and let me say the food is actually phenomenal. Better than the buffet we've had at the hotel, honestly. So we've got burger, everything's kind of like grilled. Got grilled chicken, salads, so like coleslaw, beetroot, pasta, this kind of sausage and bean stew. It's all good. I know it doesn't look that appetizing right now, but it's all good. What are you saying? <laughs> it's good. It's good. It's good. It's better, it's better. I think it's better than the hotel food. Oh, 100%. It's better. Yeah? What have you got? Burger. Burger. Yeah, enjoy. Everyone's coming, going for seconds. I'm definitely going to get a second one. Pina colada. Oh, that's good. That's good. That's some good pina colada. Very refreshing and creamy. And quite strong. So while chilling at the beach in Isla Mujeres, uh, my mate and I, we were able to, <laughs> we were able to convince the masseuse to give us a massage for ten dollars, and it was very good. Probably not on the standards of, say, at a spa, but definitely, definitely worth way more than ten dollars. My final stop was at the local supermarket, where I spent two hundred and thirty-six pesos and eighty cents on grocery shopping just for snacks and treats to take back to the UK, giving a grand total of $527 or 413 pounds and 60 pence if you're from the UK.